Hey guys, welcome back. So let's go over how to make a health bar today. We're going to right click here in the content browser. We're going to go to user interface and we're going to get a widget. And we'll call this our health bar widget. And we're going to open this thing up. And all we're going to do is take this progress bar right here, drag it in. We're going to kind of make this a little bit bigger and put it wherever we like. And we're gonna go right down here. You see this thing that says percent? This is the variable that we're gonna be modifying um, with the player health. And as you see, it starts at zero, but if you drag it up out to one, it fills up the progress bar, as you can see this. So we're gonna leave this at one, and you can change it to whatever color you guys like. I have it at a green. Okay, and we're going to go into the graph here, and off of event construct, we're going to cast to our player character, whichever one you're using. And we're going to say get player character, and we're going to need a reference to this person. So we'll right click here and promote to variable, and call this player ref. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into that um, player character blueprint and we're going to make two variables. We're going to call one health and we're going to make this a float because we're going to actually want these to be in a percent so that we can change the progress bar. So you don't want to use an integer. And we'll call this second one max health. So we'll compile and we will set these to 100. And what we're going to do off of begin play is we're going to create the widget. And we're going to look for our health bar widget. And then we're just going to add to viewport. From here, we'll say get player controller. And that should be good. So now we'll go into our health bar widget. And now that we have a reference to our player, and our player has a couple of variables for us, we're going to go back to the designer here. And we're just going to create a binding to this uh, percent here. So we'll click on this and say create binding. And you see it already says get percent and it has this return value here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our player character reference, say get, and we want to get the two um, health variables out of there. So get health and get max health. And we want to divide them. And then we're going to plug this into the return node. So we'll compile and save. And the last thing we're going to do, we'll go back into the player character. And just so we have something uh, to take away health, I'll just type in K keyboard. And we'll look for K here. And on pressed, I'm going to say take our health. We'll get it. And we will subtract 10. And then we're going to grab our health, and we'll set. And that's it, guys. So let's test this out. We'll hit play here. You see we have our nice little health bar. And as I hit K, you can see the health bar is depleting. All right, guys. So that was a very basic and quick tutorial on how to get a health bar in there. Um, if you want something a little bit more complicated, a little bit more fancy, you want it to look like it's draining and recharging, things like that, uh, just leave me a comment and I'll see what I can do for you guys. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright guys, see you later.